Insulate Britain protesters brought parts of the country to a halt last year as they blocked motorways for weeks on end. It led to angry exchanges with drivers and some of those silly eco-warriors were even jailed. Hurrah! <laughs> now today, a mum who used her Range Rover to nudge Insulate Britain activists has been fined £40 and banned from driving for a year. Here's what happened during the protest in October. The absolutely named Sherilyn Speed criticised police for pursuing the case. <laughs> Outside court, she it's said speed. she's just a working <laughs> mum who was trying to get her child to school. So, Ian, does she deserve her punishments? Well, I can't work out in that clip. If somebody is nudging, like, a ton of steel at you, wouldn't you just get up and go, sorry, I'm gone, mate? <laughs> you wouldn't hang around there. They stayed there. For the, they, they, I think they probably glued themselves or something, hadn't they, to the, to the road or whatever it was. Yeah. Look, you can't go around nudging people. You can't with a with massive a car. car. That's <laughs> not right. Uh, however, I do find it strange that we went through this whole period where protesters were left to do anything they wanted to do, it seems. The p police were... There was a classic clip of the police going up to the, the guys on the, the motorway saying, is there anything you need, if we can get you a drink, if you need any help? It's like, what, wait a minute, you've just closed the M25. <laughs> so I think somebody else, the council or the police, should pay the fines on behalf of the woman. But I, I'm not going to endorse, you know, nudging folk with your car. I've got a feeling Nicola's going to be defending the... Yeah! Wait. No, 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 no. It's not about the, the cause, although I think insulating people's homes is really good. We're in a cost of living crisis. Who knew? <laughs> but that, that's not a nudge. That's, that's like a bit of a ramming, I would have said. Like, OK, this is a nudge with a finger. She was doing it with her massive Range Rover. That mm. looked terrifying. <laughs> and look, at the end of the day, she could have been, this, the driver could have been done for assault. She wasn't. She was done for dangerous driving. I think that the punishment suits the crime. She's only banned for a year. I think she does need to learn a, lot. a lesson about, a about lot. road rage. Because if she's willing to do that in that circumstance, she could do it in another. She could have just reversed and gone the other way. Mel B, you are seething. You completely disagree. Oh, because you know what? If you're on the school run, you're probably late or running late anyway. You just want to get your kid to school at the end of the day. You know, I'm all about protest, you know, we all have a freedom of speech and this, that and the other. But, you know, where were the police and why does she have to be fined? Uh, fined £40, just like the party gate people, and then um, <laughs> banned for a year. She's not drunk driving. Yeah, you know, yeah. she's saying, get out of the way. I've got my 11-year-old in the car. You know, she should have just kind of... Reversed and then skidded a bit more, not nudged her or <laughs> rammed her, but made a point like, I need to get to school. Or the police should have done a v diversion to the school for her. I mean, the thing that was amazing, I really think, is that more people didn't do that, that mm. she seems to be the exception rather than the norm, because I was on the radio broadcasting through all those protests, and there were people who were trying to get their mum to hospital, yeah. there were people yeah. who were in labour, yeah. you know, people who were, you know, absolutely stuck and they couldn't go and open their business, so they couldn't earn any money that day, and this is just after lockdown. I'm not saying it's not a great cause. I'm not saying that we don't need to do something, you know, to come to the aid of the planet. We definitely do. But I'm not very keen on people dictating to other people what their priorities ought to be and saying, you know, I get this more than you get it. Yeah. I get it so much, you don't. So I'm going to sit in the middle of the road and mm. you have to wait. I mean, I, I think it, it is incredibly patronising to everybody else who's just trying to live their life and go it about their business. It should be said as well. Mrs Speed was, was very scary, say. wasn't she? Speed, she but she wasn't speeding. <laughs> she wasn't she speeding. was nudging, not she speeding. Speeding. If I'd have been yeah. sitting down there on the tarmac and she'd popped out the car, I'd have legged it at that point. I <laughs> wouldn't have been hanging around for any stick from her. The school, school room was important. The school yeah. room is so important. Yeah, as parents, you know that. That's mm -hmm. it's super important. That's true. And I think this woman needs, Miss Speed needs a statue of herself built along that road. She's a hero. <laughs> she is. A year ban is far too harsh on her. Yep. Absolutely far too harsh. Maybe six months to make an example of her, or maybe even three. £40 fine. OK, she's got a range of it. She can afford it, And clearly. imagine if she crunched over one of their limbs or something. Or Thank you, Vanessa. Who's fault is that? Who's fault is that? Who's fault is that? Finally, they're lying in the them. road. Whose fault is that? Yeah, but you'll be... Just because someone's lying in the road, you don't have the right to go and kick <laughs> the absolute beep out of them just because you don't like it. I mean, that's why it was so infuriating, because most people, desperately law-abiding, just sat there fuming with the odd expletive and didn't do anything about it. But as I said, it's remarkable there weren't more speed. Yeah. Doesn't mean she did the right thing, though. In, in a peculiar way, it did sort of brilliantly articulate 
emulate and highlight the, the misery, the, the ridiculousness, the frustration of this whole sorry picture. And it was a ludicrous situation, absolutely bonkers, that we ended up with people gluing their genitals to police cars and <laughs> bits of road and goodness knows what else. I think the odd one gave it a go. <laughs> it, it just I mean, bringing places to a standstill in the name of your own protest. You know, protest as much as you like, but don't impede everybody else's life.